Welcome back with another reaction. Uh, I am going to be looking uh, today at Mason Cox. Don't believe in never. Uh, it's been recommended multiple times. Um, I thought I'd give it a shot. So let's check this out. It's supposed to be an American uh, playing in the AFL. So take a look. When Mason came to us, no American player had ever played a senior game of AFL footy. It's a one in whatever you want to call it because. Sorry about that. Anyway. Ever played a senior game of AFL footy. It's a one in whatever you want to call it because no one had ever done it. Mason Cox, redshirt senior from Island Village, Texas. He's only played six minutes all year. I went to Oklahoma State University. So I started out playing basketball when I was a freshman. I've never picked up a basketball in my life, really. We played at the rec center, and there was a GA at the women's team, and she asked, would you be interested in helping out? Pretty much called the dream team, and they played against the women's team and practiced other teams and played against them. I was kind of like, yeah, cool. Like, what do I get out of it? And she goes, oh, we'll give you a free pair of shoes and maybe some kit. And I was like, sweet. The men's team saw me training with the women's team. And one of the coaches said, who's that massive dude who's playing with the women's team? Like, why don't we have someone like that? I was in way over my head, barely could make a layup, and I was just a body bag. We got a call. They wanted me to go to L.A. to try out for this thing called AFL, of Aussie Rules Football. And we both looked at each other and was, what the hell is that? And it comes up and it's like AFL's biggest hits. just kind of look at him and laughing and going, is this really a sport? <laughs> I'd already accepted a six-figure paying job at ExxonMobil. So I went to the tryouts. Everyone that was there was interested in myself. It became pretty serious pretty quickly. That week, I threw the cap in the air, you know, I got the degree on stage, made my parents proud. A week later, I flew to Australia and my life changed. The whole concept of me coming to Australia was just to give me a showcase of what AFL was. Saw my first AFL game, sat next to a North Melbourne player. He explained to me, you know, that's six points. That's a point. Hits the post, it's worth a point. You know, they point the opposite direction whenever they really mean that way. And at the end of it, I remember he goes, okay, cool. So these are the teams that are interested in you. Here's the contracts. Um, let me know what you think. The international rookies are what? It's crazy how he, how he goes to just, you know, somebody to just pulled into this uh I, I just wonder the uh management decisions behind it uh were they really paying attention because i don't understand the whole uh training with the women thing um i just don't understand that at all so uh but that's crazy i mean obviously he's got a new uh career and also a new country so that's got to be uh challenging 211 centimeters, the same height as Aaron Sanderlands. Looks quite exciting. I remember getting on the plane. And I thought, what have I just done? I've just given up five years of hard work and thousands of dollars of education to go play a sport I've never heard of in a place I've never been with no friends or no family in, in Melbourne. I stuck a footy in my hand. I thought it was uh, pretty much a rugby ball. Like, I had no idea if the kangaroo skin and a Sharon is like the name of it. And I don't know, like, it was all so foreign to me when I first started. His kicking, his kicking was quite average. It was a crash course, essentially, of just what AFL was. Craig McRae and Anthony Rocker spent two and a half months with me and come around training the first day. It was sink or swim, really. We do this one drill and you get a handball off to the coach. And of course, Box is the one who you're handballing to go to handball to him and I just remember looking at it I look back and going okay we've got a bit of work to do here I like locked eyes for a second and I could just see in my mind just what have we recruited players generally got a lot going on but Mason's still trying to work out this new game whether he fits if he fits am I embarrassing myself but at the end of the year I got to the point where I was thinking I might actually feel comfortable in an AFL game was the first one to tell me. They came out and said, look, you're going to debut. And that week was a massive week. It's Anzac Day, obviously. And it's one of the biggest games of the year. The crowd's 90,000 plus. The stadium is massive. It just leans over the top of it. So that's challenging enough. I walked out. I wonder what they were thinking out there in the audience. Like, oh, God, <laughs> American, right? Um, I actually, uh, I'm going to do like a hate uh, comment video uh, at some point because I've got the worst of it. 
from Australians about the AFL videos that I do. So <laughs> out there and I was ready to puke. I was that nervous. I was freaking out, you know, I didn't know what to do and I was thinking don't screw up, just whatever you do, don't screw up, don't screw up. Oh man, he's shitting himself. And I can't imagine what it's like to try and Drop the ball that extra foot and a half to get it under your foot. My hands would have been like this, holding that ball. Mason Clubs. He rides it home. What a beauty. Can you believe an American in his first game is not getting the first goal on Anzac Day? Didn't happen. No, <laughs> that, that didn't happen. Yeah, but some people We need like to keep him grounded, it. but it was our job to keep him grounded. Stands at the MCG to steady this it's not a big deal. I mean, a big step from Americans are bad. That he was playing to playing AFL footy. At the end of 17, I was playing VFL. You know, I'd gotten dropped a few times. We That's a good small. story. He had to yeah. set himself a new goal of being but one of the best forwards in the competition. To think that Americans couldn't just adapt, it's kind of stupid. I had the worst game of my career. I can probably say that pretty comfortably. I don't think I had a single mark the whole game. And had maybe six touches or something and get suspended for the next week. Probably a low moment in my life, I'd say, of thinking, do I choose the right decision? That's the kind of comments. <laughs> but, but more directed toward me and my opinion. I said, you know what, this is a last ditch effort to show them what you're worth, to show them you can do this as a job. This is your career that you want to do for the rest of your life. We've played Richmond twice and been overrun twice through the year. This could be the biggest game that Mason Cox never gets a kick in. Prelim final MCG. Matt Stevey holds the ball aloft. Richmond take on Collingwood. It happened pretty early. Soccer off the ground, straight into the waiting arms of Kalor. Cox is the biggest man. Ah, that guy tried to hammer him. Clunk, clunk, clunk. He's pretty tall. Hands are on, mate. They, they, they just stuck. Sets it up. Cops again. I cannot believe it. You've got to go back to Billy Graham with the MCG. Somebody looked nervous. Can he dominate like this? Can he guide it through? Yes, he can. Three of the very best. A 211 centimetre Texan has just torn the MCG apart in this quarter. Now, in a primary fight. There we go. That's some love right there. Could you have pictured that four years, five years earlier with the guy that handballed over the top of my head? Um, definitely not. And Collingwood will go in to the 2018 Grand Final. Famous victory on the back of this man here. I don't believe in ceilings. I don't believe in people setting limitations on others. I think if you're motivated enough and you care enough or that determined to get to wherever you want to go, it's, it's possible. Exactly. That's a pretty sweet video. Uh, pause it before it tries to turn into something else, right? Um, but yeah, that's exactly it. Uh, you know, I got a lot of judgment uh, <laughs> about nothing in particular. It's really, um, you know, it started out as uh, the first video on the AFL reaction. Um, then I said I liked the AFL. Um, I liked it better than the NFL because it, you know, is just a lot of back and forth like basketball. Um, and despite that, people picked out the one thing that I said is that the NFL hits are harder um, based on actual research and statistics. And, uh, it just stuck. So back and forth trolling. Um, and I have the most hate videos on this channel by AFL fans. Uh, so that tells me a little something about the culture, unfortunately. Um, you know, because I, I, I like Australians just fine. It's But, uh, I mean, I have not felt so unwelcome. Uh, <laughs> more than when I started making AFL videos. 
but I still do it because people like to to watch it, and I do in actually enjoy the game. Um, and I think this guy uh, basically took that on. You know, the um, Americans just not being uh, popular for some reason because um, of you know just our culture, <laughs> uh, and that's it. I mean. Uh, so he actually, uh, it looks like he won them over. He won you guys over out there. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, he did, he did what I expected. I, I didn't expect him to fail. Uh, Americans don't go into things to fail. Uh, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna, eventually I could see America's going over there and taking over. Okay. Um, it, it's just what we do. We're conquerors. Um, so <laughs> I didn't expect him to fail at all. Uh, you know, I know people are like, oh, that's an amazing, uh, you know, origin story or whatever. And yes, it, it really is because you're, you're facing the hate, uh, and just, you know, not giving a shit, letting it run off your shoulders. Um, but, you know, at the same time, you know, it, it didn't just run off his shoulders. You know, he felt some of it, uh, and he still got himself through it. So, um, you know, it, he just had to show them with his actions uh, what he could do, and he took over that game. He, he really took over that game. Uh, so I don't see why. You know, I get so many comments saying, the fat Americans can't play this game. Well, shit, do you not know about this guy? Right? He go. He goes. He, he, Straight up dominates. So, um, yeah, it's a good video. Anyway, if you enjoy this reaction, you want to see some others, including the ones that get hate on. All right, I got plenty here. Check them out. All right, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and check out some of the links in my description. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace.